First of all, what I would advise is practical advice I want to give you, right? When you're finished with the call, what I would like you to do is I want you to write down on a piece of paper, I want you to define exactly what your objective is. But on a paper, just write down, learn Arabic as fluent as an Arab or whatever it is, right? Look, whatever your objective is, write that objective down, okay? Then what I want you to do is I want you to like create urgency for that. And the way we create urgency for that is through purpose. So I want you to write down why, why you really want to learn it. So the, all the stuff you're saying to me now about, you know, I really want to like be able to understand hadith and Quran and this and that, like all these things, I want you to write them all down uh, and make sure you don't make it only logical or don't make it only emotional. Make sure there's logic in there. Make sure there's emotion in there. Make sure there's connection to Allah in there and come up with a real reason why you definitely want to do this. I would advise that you create a specific question that will move you in the moment. For example, like I said, like let's imagine that we've got this situation here where let's say the Quran is placed, um, you know, next to my bed and I'm like, I should read the Quran. But then my mind goes, oh, I'm tired, this, 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 this. One question could change that for me, right? So if I say, do I want to have a real relationship with the Quran, right? Maybe that would make me feel, or maybe if I say, do you want to have a day where you didn't read Quran, right? Like for me, I'm laughing because if I ask myself that question and I haven't read Quran today, that will make me read Quran today, right? Because I'll be like, a day without Quran is like a is a is a lost day. Like in my head, the answer is definitely no. Why? Because there's a premise in my head that if there's a day I don't read Quran, like that's a lost day. It's like I done nothing. I would take out a question that in the moment when I feel like delaying that moment, if I ask myself that question, it will move me to doing the right thing. From an action perspective, I would actually uh, advise that you define exactly when you're going to do the homework. Pick a specific time where you're going to do the homework in every, uh, in every single week, where you know that, you know what, usually this time I'm in the optimum state, I'm in the optimum place, I'm in a good uh, mood, all this stuff. This is the time and place usually where I'm probably most likely to do it. And don't do it based on the deadline. Do it more on, if I was to do this properly and I was going to do this for the sake of Allah and I was going to do it at the highest level, like what would be the best time for me to do it? So what I would do is I would go to my phone now and I would put an alarm on and I would write something in my alarm. I would call my alarm something. I would name the, uh, the actual alarm something that's going to get you moving in that, in that moment. For example, every Wednesday I get a notification that you got a coaching call tonight, right? So I'd put that on for 1.30, 1.45, whatever the time is, right? And then when that timer goes off, in your mind, it should just be Bismillah, you know what? I'm going to go and do this in 10 minutes or five minutes. Or if I'm free now, I'm going to do it now. You have to realize that every single morning, when you start the day, you actually reboot all of those old programs every single day. And our identity is like our internal software, which reboots who we are. So for example, a person thinking, oh, I'm lazy and I procrastinate. Like that thought itself, it has to be rebooted and reprogrammed when I wake up this morning. If I say I'm a healthy person, Every morning when I wake up, that reboots in my mind, I'm a healthy person. And you wake up in the morning and we take all of our baggage that was here last night when Allah took our soul and we went to bed. Like we had all this baggage about us being lazy and this and this and this. And in the morning we like reprogram it. So, okay, let's restart. Let me tell myself again I'm lazy. Let me tell, let me, let me, let me. like that's, that's part of the problem. And so what I would advise is part of this is like mind your language and be careful what you say to yourself because this thing, like, I, I, would, I would stop saying to, to myself that I'm lazy. I would stop saying to myself, uh, I procrastinate. When you're saying these things, don't define your things, yourself at these things, right? So rather than saying I'm lazy, you know, I would say uh, I feel lazy. With these kind of things that we're battling against ourselves, it doesn't need to be that battle as well. If you just start doing this one thing, like your Arabic, just this one thing, it could be the one small action that you take which suddenly starts to bring that confidence back into yourself that, hey, you know what? Maybe I'm not like lazy. Maybe I'm not procrastinating. And maybe, maybe I can get over it. Like, maybe I just haven't really focused. Maybe I haven't given my all to it. Maybe I just need to get a little bit more organized and I'll be fine with this stuff. Now, of course, I'm not saying that, you know, you don't need to be more proactive. Maybe you do need to be more proactive. That's one of the best habits you can have of taking action and getting on with it and all this kind of stuff. So maybe there's an element of that. You do that as well. But I'm saying, even if we just do this thing, which we discussed now about you defining exactly what your objective is, 
is writing down the urgency, the purpose, the why behind it, and then setting these actions, like we're saying, of actually doing it, and then coming next week and saying, you know what, like this was the work and I did it. Ooh.